Good morning, everyone. So we are currently checking out. As you can see, it is a very far walk to walk to the front. We have to go bell service, and then we're going to also do the grab and go. But we stay. We're, we're what time's our flight? Nine. Yeah, our flight's at nine. We get picked up at six, so we do have a full day here still. So we're going to head over to Animal Kingdom today. It is a. It is pretty cloudy, which. I feel like that's going to uh, help. I don't think it's going to rain at all today, but it's Florida, so you never know. Hopefully it helps my sunburn. Yeah, she got sunburned pretty bad. That's why she's wearing my hat. She wore it all day yesterday, too. But, uh, yeah. So, we're going to head over to Animal Kingdom after we drop off our, our luggage so they can hold it for the day. And uh, we'll see you guys over there. I never noticed the diamond, uh, the dragon. Hello. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. To so use that all with my watch. Hmm. And we made it into Animal Kingdom. So, uh, Mount Everest is currently closed. Uh, probably just is broken, so they're probably working on it. Avatar, Flight of Passage is about 70 minute wait, Safari is about 45, Dinosaur is 40, and I believe uh, Rapids are only 5 minutes, but we're not going to do the Rapids today, just the fact that we are leaving today, we don't want to get wet, but we might head over to Avatar to get it over with, and uh, just work our way around that way, so we'll do probably Flight of Passage. I don't know if we'll do Navi's River Journey today, but I guess we'll see. But we'll do Safari after that, but... Yeah, it's a hot one today. It's 90 degrees. Which is insane. But we're, uh... We're gonna get through it. Have a good time. There she is. See the shirt. I'll take a cub sandwich. So the line for River Journey goes all the way back over to the bridge out of the out of the land which is crazy. Are you gonna get back some hair? Similar print all over his legs. Those guys are actually more closely related to the giraffes. They're kind of tail poking out. <laughs> but those pretty black rhinos can weigh anywhere around 3,000 pounds. And despite their massive size, they can also charge up to speeds of about 35 miles per hour. So they can get pretty quick when they want to. They have some pretty big ears because they mainly rely on the hearing to stay alert Woo! to any hungry predators that might be nearby. A group of hippos is called a bloat, and the bloat does tend to spread out between both. Water, but if they keep on inching on board, those water windows, little crocodiles down there on the shore. Also, like 
you know, there's about a couple more of these guys directly underneath you in the water as we head on over the bridge. out here on the reserve are actually going to be black with white stripes. We can tell because of the cute little color on their noses, which are also black. And another one kind of camping out in between the trees to the right is The giraffes is called the tower. And the tower of giraffes is all over the savannah, so keep your eyes out. We'll most likely be spotting a lot more of these guys along the way. But the giraffes are definitely the tallest land mammals. These guys can reach heights of about 18 feet. They have this little baby man here, that little kind of wider one, sitting on his mom's lap or in front of her. She's a little baby girl, around three months old at the moment. The little gray one? <laughs> baby Olive is her name. But those mandrills are the largest monkeys in the world. And they have red colors around their mouth, just like Rafiki. When elephants are first born, they can weigh anywhere around 300 pounds and grow to weigh up to 15,000 pounds. These guys do get that pretty pinkish color because they eat too much shrimp. But that color does take about a year or two to finally settle in. So babies will make those are born like cute little gray black balls. And if you guys look at the island that they're standing on, it is a hidden Mickey. It's in the shape of a Mickey Mouse head. Feet in front of themselves during the daytime, three feet during the nighttime. So we're currently staring at these rhinos, but they most likely can still barely see us. Around the rocks here. Yeah, there he is. Wow. And we do have two lionesses and one male lion. Well, she's you can sight to see the lioness to the right of him. But those big cats are some super lazy animals. They do spend the majority of their day lying around under the warden post underneath the shelter. The Nigerian dwarf goat can only grow to be about two feet tall off the shoulder. So they'll stay that tiny. And as you guys can see, there's a bunch of ramps surrounding the warden post all over the place. It's because those little guys do like to climb everywhere. Hello, so we just got off the safari. It was posted at a 45 minute wait, and I believe it was like, what, 25, 30 minutes, you would say? Well, I think it was like 25, 30. It wasn't long at all. It kept moving. They also changed the layout of where you, where you, uh, how do I say, where you wait are waited. They no longer are doing it currently, at least, by the Lion King show, because the Lion King show is coming back it's sometime in may but they didn't release a date yet so they have to you know not have people over here because there will be another line for that show once it does come back but uh yeah so far it was really nice we are going to head over to everest to see if it's open i probably could check the app but we gotta head over that way anyways for dinosaur very hot today but uh it's actually not that crowded i thought it was crowded but I would say it's not that bad. The lines don't seem as long. I know they're boarding every road now and there's plexi uh, glasses everywhere. So they're trying to cram more people in, which in a way I think is good because the, the weights aren't as bad. So we came across this Secrets of the Whale, National Geographic, so they are, I guess, promoting a new show that's coming to Disney Plus, as you can see right here, on April 22nd, so I guess it was last week, but it's really, really cool sand art, though, I gotta say. But we are now heading over to Dino Land to try to ride Dinosaur. Mount Everest is still currently closed, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do about that. I'm hoping that after we ride Dino, Dinosaur, that it is open, but uh, I guess we don't know, but that's gonna be probably our last ride of the day if 
Everest isn't open and we'll probably just hang out at the hotel or something but yeah it got super busy it's about a 75 minute wait now for Avatar which pre uh, pandemic that is normal but still 75 minutes the line looks extremely long very crowded area especially because Pandora is so narrow as it is there's actually just a lot of people around around that area but yeah so Headed into Dino Land, and uh, we will let you know how it goes. Get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? The Skyracosaurus. Not our dino. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just little one. Alamamus. Hadrosaur. Raptor. Time to get serious. Walking autopilot on homing signal now. Hang on! I'm tracking a big dino on the scope. Could be ours. Computer, full stop. Identify. Connectless. Definitely not our dino. Go, go, go! Oh, no! Another big guy coming up. Computer. Slow and identify. Sauropod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. Oh. Asteroid impact in 90 seconds. We better move it. Pterodactyl. Incoming! In 60 seconds. We can't stop now. Keep going. Keep going. Compsognathus. Computer, what's happening? Loss of traction. Four wheel drive. Move it. <laughs> Warning. Meteor strike. Evasive maneuvers. Left. Right. Left. Right. Oh, my. Close. Computer, now what? Carnotaurus. That's it. Abort mission. Abort! Abort! Iguanodon. Forget it! Get them out now! You made it! I knew you would, and guess who made it back with you? I better find it before security does. Thanks for everything! Alright, so we are done with Animal Kingdom. We are currently walking out now. Everest did not actually open back up, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. There was a lot of people waiting, like on the side to see if they would like open back up, but I feel like they were waiting for a while and it still hasn't opened back up. So we did end up riding Dinosaur. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. We do have. Okay. Oh. So we do have uh, dinner at five at Olivia's, and then we have Mag Magical Express at six. So we do have an hour to eat, and then get on the bus. But it is currently 1:45, so we currently have a little over. 
Three hours? Yeah, a little over three hours to... Dinner Yeah, so a little over three hours to decide what we want to do now. We're either going to park up or go back to the resort and hang out. But I guess uh, once we decide, we'll let you guys know. Uh, Hi! So we rented a, a Sari bike because we had nothing else to do. So how much was it? It was roughly it's $20 for every half hour. Yes. So we'll see it's how 21 long. something. Yeah, there is a uh, DVC member price, uh, which was, I think, $2 cheaper uh, every half hour. But they give you this, uh, well, they give you a map of, like, where you can go. You can't go on golf courses. Can't leave it on the attended. I think they're the only two, really. Can't drink. Yeah, you can't drink on it. Um, well, that's about it, though, so. But Noelle's steering wheel is a fake steering yes. wheel, so. <laughs> I'm the only one driving, but we both. But have, I am pedaling. Yeah, we both got a pedal. So. But yeah, so I don't know. I always wanted to rent one of these at uh, Disney, but so now we can. So I think that's pretty cool now. We're just whipping corners. Yeah, we are. But yeah, we're probably gonna go around the whole entire resort and uh, maybe be done with it. Uh, yeah. It'll only be like so half hour top. We're starting at three o'clock. And we have dinner at Olivia's at 5. So we just had some time to kill because we finished Animal Kingdom a lot earlier than we thought that we would. And we did not go to Magic Kingdom. So we were going to do Disney Springs. Not much to do there because we're not hungry. And we didn't really feel like shopping this time. So we're probably just going to, after this, maybe just hang out by the pool maybe. Yeah, we'll Ooh. see. But, Ooh, little yeah. hill. But we'll see. A cute driver. Oi. This is hard. A little difficult. <laughs> oh, that's a tight space. <laughs> On the open road. Oh, I did not like that. You don't like that? Mm -hmm. Cute little pink Surrey bike. Hello everyone, so we're currently at the airport. We are waiting for our flight back. We still have about an hour and a half, but we are gonna end the vlog here. We had dinner at Olivia's, which I thought was amazing. It was so good. Yes. Um, I ended up getting the buttermilk chicken. So it had gravy, it had a biscuit, and mashed it had potatoes. mashed potatoes, green beans. Green beans. Yep. And it was very good. You do get uh, complimentary bread as well in the beginning. And then, Noelle, what did you get to drink first? Um, turtle frog. Mm -hmm. uh, it kind of tasted like a Bahama Mama. Yep. And then for my entree, I got the shrimp pasta, which was amazing. And you get like between 10 to 15, like the little shrimps, which I think is a lot. Most places when I get a pasta seafood dish it's only like five or six shrimp so oh yeah I the think, food was really good though yeah i think yeah. the portions were really good too for what you're getting yeah i think before tip i think it came to 57 60 bucks for two people for dinner i don't think it was bad especially for how good the food was food came quick we were one of the first ones to order since they did just open up at five and but, we got seated early yeah. we got seated 10 minutes early than our reservation time. Yes, and uh, our server was amazing. She kept coming up every five, less than five minutes to see if we needed anything. Uh, yeah, it was a great experience for dinner, but we did uh, the Surrey bikes, and then we just hung around after mm -hmm. dinner for 20, 30 minutes. Uh, we were gonna get on the Magical Express, 
technically we got a ride, but it was like a mirror's like eight person shuttle yeah. minibus thing. Uh, seats were very uncomfortable. You had to wear a seatbelt that was choking the well. Yeah, I think my neck's red from it. So it sucks that you don't get the big blue Magical Express bus. Yeah. It was also late. Yeah, it was so late. And it's on a Sunday. Yep. Six o'clock, and the bus pulled up at about six twenty-four, and asked for the six thirty people, and we were like, "Well, we're for the six o'clock that never came." Yeah. So. And we overheard. Oh, I overheard on the radio that she had a, uh, in the front that apparently people who had a five thirty pickup time, a bus never came from them. It wasn't at ours, or I think it was at Saratoga or something like that, but. They have the same exact experience, but they're a 5.30 pickup, so they're just going to make their flight probably. Yeah. But, yeah, overall, uh, it, was a, it was a pretty good trip. Uh, I feel like some of the people that, like, we encountered with uh, were pretty rude this trip. Uh, we had a couple bad experiences yeah. with other people. Um, people budging in line, complaining. It was just, uh, it wasn't good vibe. But that was the only issue, well, besides that, uh, that was the only issue with the trip, I would say. I would say I probably wouldn't stay back at Old Key West, but that's just my opinion. It is way too far, the, the, the rooms are way too far from the main building, so you have to walk a lot if you're not in the first two buildings closest to the main building. So that and, is the biggest issue. And we've seen little golf carts that was taking luggage to people's room like we didn't get that service yeah, we, didn't we had know to about walk the yeah. 14 15 minutes just to get to our room yeah and you don't, you really don't want to do that after you're in the parks all day on your feet the resort stay itself in our room uh we absolutely did not like the room at all uh there was a lot of gnats and a lot of gnats in the shower area Noelle experienced that. Uh, she did take a photo, so we're gonna post that right now as well. Uh, the, inside the kitchenette area, that sink apparently wouldn't drain. Yeah. So I also took a picture of that too. Okay, so that's below. So yeah. it seems like people were just shoving stuff down the sink, and you know it was never cleaned properly. But it wasn't draining at all. And then on the toilet, there was these like black like. It wasn't mold, but it was these like black marks once you lifted the toilet seat up. So it seems like the toilet wasn't clean either. Yeah. So I would say it was pretty, pretty dirty, especially for a DVC resort where you're paying all that money for, you know, that type of experience. Yeah. But like you said, it is a hotel. I know they're understaffed right now with housekeeping, uh, housekeeping and really everything like that. And they want to get in and out. But I just thought that was unacceptable. We didn't complain to a front desk or anything. Uh, just the fact that we were staying there for two nights. It, it is what it is. But, but yeah, overall, okay, nice trip, good, yeah. quick trip. But we will see you guys next time. We will be coming in July for a week long. We are not staying on Disney property this time because we're going with my brother, his fiance, and four of our friends, so there's going to be eight total of us. My cousin yeah, and his cousin, girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but there's eight total of us, so we just wanted to all be together, and Disney was just a little too much money for eight people, so we ended up getting an Airbnb about 25 minutes away, and we got two rental cars. Yeah. So it's going to be a definitely different experience staying off property, because mm -hmm. I don't know, we, I don't know if we ever stayed off property. We Maybe did once. 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 Uh, in, I think it was 2019, we did a cruise out of Fort Canaveral, and then it was around, I think it was in April, yeah, yeah. we got back on April 14th, the day before his birthday, and we spent the night in a hotel and did Disney that day. Oh, oh the hotel then, though, yeah. yeah, yeah, but no air It was just yeah. one day. So we'll, we'll definitely see how that turns out. We will be in Disney at least two days. The rest of them don't have annual passes like we do. So as of now, they only have a two-day park hopper. I'm not sure if that will change if we're going to go more or not. Um, I know some of us want to do Universal one day. So we still got a lot of planning to do. But we'll see you guys next time. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, 
comment below what you like. We really do appreciate it. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. and hold on to handrails. When the 8 p.m. stops, please exit to gates 1 through 29.